Hey everyone, Trey from Magnet Forensics here, and today we're going to walk through a corporate harassment investigation utilizing Magnet Axiom Cyber. With the recent release of Axiom Cyber, we now have the ability to do both remote collections of endpoints, as well as collect from additional cloud sources like AWS S3 buckets or EC2 instances. For this case, we're going to utilize Axiom Cyber to collect from Microsoft Teams, which is also new to Axiom Cyber. With that, let's jump right into this investigation. So we're already in examine, and I've already acquired both a Facebook account from the victim, in this case Dante, as well as his Slack account using Axiom Cyber. Dante stated that his direct supervisor, Selena Kyle, added him on Facebook and started making comments he felt uncomfortable with, while also chatting with him during the day on Slack uh, about inappropriate topics. Since this organization has recently deployed Microsoft Teams for an internal chat, I'm going to use Axiom Cyber to acquire Dante's account there as well, just to see if there's any evidence for this case. As we know, Microsoft is transitioning from Skype uh, for Business over to Teams, which carries many of the features other tools like Slack have. Let's go ahead and add new evidence to acquire Dante's Teams account. So I'll go up and hit Add New Evidence. Now that we have Axiom Process open, there's a couple things we need to talk about when it comes to using Axiom Cyber with Microsoft Teams. There are two different ways you can collect Microsoft Teams data. First, you can log in with the user account credentials to acquire the data directly, which is what we're going to do today, or Axiom Cyber supports parsing the Teams PST file, which you can collect from the Microsoft Security Suite. Investigators using the PST option will still have the separate artifact for Teams data, as well as the chat threading, uh, just as if you've acquired that data directly. But unlike Axiom Cyber's Office 365 admin capabilities, you can't log in as a system admin yet and select the account you'd like to acquire. This is just due to teams not having an API yet. So I'd recommend if you need a covert collection, investigators utilize Microsoft uh, Security Suite and create a PST of the team's data before uh, ingesting that into Axiom. But with that, let's go ahead and acquire Dante's team's account information. So I'm gonna go to evidence sources. I'm gonna go to cloud. And as you can see here, we do have a new evidence source here, which is remote computer. We're gonna have additional videos and uh, supporting blogs on that. But for this, we're gonna go to cloud. We're gonna go to acquire evidence. Now, as you can see, we have AWS support, which uh, we'll have additional videos on as well. And we have Microsoft, which we've had with the admin credentialing. And we also have a new button here for Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Sign in method, I'm gonna use username and password. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in as Dante so I can collect his account since as I mentioned earlier, we don't have the admin capabilities just yet with Microsoft Teams. Now, if you have any problems logging into Microsoft Teams, you're gonna have to do a little bit of a configuration uh, with Microsoft Azure. Uh, if you need any help doing that, make sure and check out uh, our resource center found off of our website, magnetforensics.com. All I did was type in Microsoft Teams uh, and I was able to get this step-by-step -step document that we have that will help you get your uh, accounts set up so that you can acquire directly from Teams into Axiom. So make sure you take a look at that uh, if you are running into any issues there. Now that we've logged in as Dante for Microsoft Team Services, I'm gonna go ahead and just say select all because I want all the team chats and the channels, anything that Dante might be associated with so I can make sure that there's no evidence of uh, his supervisor speaking to him and you know unprofessional means uh, on this service. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And then I'm gonna hop down to Cloud Artifacts here. And as you can see, we have everything selected under Cloud Artifacts, but since we are only working with Teams, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Clear All. I'm gonna hop down to Microsoft, and as you can see, we have the Teams data here. So I'm gonna select those artifacts since that's the data that I'm looking to parse. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Analyze Evidence, and we'll let Axiom acquire this data and process it into our case. Now that we have our Teams data added back into our case file, I went ahead and ran Magnet AI categorization just by selecting the categorized chats. You can also run it by coming up to the menu bar and doing categorization of chats uh, from the menu bar as well. But I ran this because we have it set for sexual harassment and luring, and I wanted to see if AI would help me find what I was looking for for these chats, and it looks like we do have some hits here. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and start with Facebook very quickly and identify what Dante was speaking about when he said that there were some inappropriate comments left there before we move into seeing what possible grooming and luring content we did find for this case. I'm gonna go ahead and hit view evidence for this source only. And as you can see, we have some timeline information, some Facebook URLs. I'm gonna expand out the cloud piece and I'm gonna go ahead and look at timeline. And he said she made a comment uh, when he was talking about his girlfriend and sure enough, here's gonna be good eats for me and the girlfriend tonight. And when I start looking at the preview panel here, 
uh, we scroll down, we can see looks like there were some comments left uh, from uh, his supervisor. So since this is kind of tracking in the direction of looks like there might be some inappropriate comments uh, being left, I'm going to go ahead, right click on this, and I'm going to add a tag for my report. Now that I have that tagged, let's go ahead and switch from Facebook and go ahead and say, you know what, I want to look at all the data now. And I'm going to also add a comment of the possible grooming and lurid content just to see what we can find there. And I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, they're all already tagged because these are what Axiom has identified as potential hits for the possible grooming, luring, or sexual harassment. And if I expand out the cloud tab, you can see it looks like they're all coming from Slack. Now, we can absolutely go one by one looking at some of these messages, or as you can see on the right-hand side, we do have our chat bubbles, which is fantastic when you're dealing you know, with the non-technical stakeholders because this is the type of you know, chat bubbles they're used to seeing on you know, their screens. But I'm going to go from column view. I'm going to switch down to conversation view and this will thread all those messages together and as you can see once again if we had had several slack messages with lots of different people this would make life much much easier to really get an idea of what's going on uh, with your different conversations that your users are having and as you can see we can start scrolling through and see what's going on there we've got some pictures and as you can see looks like they're talking about vacations and as you can see, Dante is talking about see if his girlfriend is free. And then Selena saying, you know, I didn't know you had a girlfriend hoping just, you know, to go with you. So it does look like there are some conversations that might, you know, allude to harassment in the workplace. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and add a tag and hit evidence. So I've got those tagged now for my report. I'm also going to go ahead and clear all my filters. And as you can see, there are other Slack messages in here, but I'm going to go over to Microsoft Teams since we did just acquire that with Axiom Cyber. And as you can see, they are threaded since we still are in conversation view. And as we start scrolling through, you can see we do have, you know, the chat bubbles for Microsoft Teams, which is great. And we keep going through, see what else we can find. Looks like they are sharing some pictures inside of Microsoft Teams. Doesn't look like too much is going on there. Looks like it is uh, staying on the professional front on side of Microsoft Teams. Uh, while we're talking about Teams though, I'm gonna go from conversation view back over to column view. And from there, I just wanna see the attachments since it looked like they were sharing some pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want to see only the evidence from Microsoft Teams. Filter that data out. And now I'm gonna go to media. And now it looks like we do have some pictures that do have some information as far as maybe some remote login information that we've captured now from Microsoft Teams. So something that we might want to be aware of, but we have done our due diligence. We've looked through all the data. We have identified potential uh, harassment. Now we just need to go ahead and build out our report for HR. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my filters once again. I'm going to go to tags. I'm going to select evidence, hit OK. Now you can see we have all of our tags for everything that we've tagged from Facebook and Slack. I'm going to right click, hit create report. And for this report, I'm just going to knock out a quick HTML report. That will be good just at least to get the ball rolling for HR to see if they need anything else in the meantime. So I've got it saving out to my case folder. I want items in the current view since that's going to be the tags that we built for this report. And I want this to be a detailed information report. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now that the report is created, I'm going to hit open and just going to go ahead and select the report HTML. And as you can see here, we've got our information. We have our different cloud sources so we can see the Slack messages that are broken out in column view. And if we scroll over to the right, as you can see, we have a hyperlink here and that will give us those chat bubbles once again. So you can show HR or whoever your stakeholders are, you know, what it looked like on those devices. Hope uh, you enjoy using Axiom Cyber. Make sure to check that out. And uh, if you want, make sure to reach out to your sales rep and uh, request a free demo. Thank you.